Welcome to another episode of The Scene Maker. This time, we're going to take aim at Christmas, even though it is still a few months off. I want to show you a scene I just completed, featuring a tiny little nativity scene carved from stone. I know these nativities are not rare, but they are special for their tiny size, the detail which is in them, and the story behind them. I received this nativity in an egg from my friend Gil Albert. I had never seen one before, so I began doing some checking online to see what I could find out. And I was truly surprised at the tiny gem's origins. And when I say tiny, I mean it. This particular nativity carved into an egg only measures about one and a half inches tall. This hand-carved scene was made from a pink alabaster type stone called Human Gastone. Um, it's called that locally where it's found, and I probably didn't pronounce it exactly right. The stone and the carvings come from Ayacucho, Peru, and again, I probably didn't say that right. But it has been the tradition at that locale for many, many years to carve from this stone. An interesting side note here is that this particular city has 33 churches, one representing each year in the life of our dear Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. The Peruvian artisans using the human gas stone uh, presents an original and unique form of expression in Latin American art. The carving of stone was quite popular in the 17th century, a time when Spanish religious art was flourishing. And then there was a revival in the 19th and 20th centuries of the Humanga stone carving, uh, but this time the carvers from indigenous villages gave their work their own particular unique style. The stone is excavated from quarries in Can Galo, and it is extremely soft stone, allowing for it to be carved pretty easily. And unfortunately, this also means that older examples are around, but most are damaged because of how very soft the stone is. Perhaps what is most special about this piece for me is not so much where it was made or what it was made from, though that's pretty awesome. No, for me, it is what it, this represents. I picture in my mind that my Father and Creator left the glories of heaven and came down to the earth that He created as a baby to grow up and die for the sins of each and every man, woman, and child who will accept his free gift of salvation. Now additionally, I forgot to mention, the other three figures in this shadow box scene were made in Italy in our vintage 1950s. Um, they are, uh, of course, representing Mary, Joseph, and, uh, and the wise men. Um, nativity <clears throat> figures like this are... Are, have been made in Italy for, for many, many, many decades, and their work is beautiful and distinct and unique in its own right. And also, the uh, wise man in this scene and the tiny nativity is sitting on a marble base, which itself is an antique, probably going back to the 1890s, um, and it was dug from my backyard when David and I were living at uh, 9, 5, 916 South, uh, or not South, but 916, I think it was, um, Stevens Street here in Saginaw, Michigan. Well, that's it for this episode, and I hope that you've enjoyed this look at a truly marvelous nativity scene that has a fascinating background. Thanks for stopping by, and God bless each and every one of you.